What's up, guys? It's your boy Jamaica here coming at you with another tournament recap for Season 7, Week 5. The Sunday APAC tournament was won by Yo Van Blake with Team Ascendancy. This is actually his third win, so he's in a, an elite class of other players. Like, uh, I think Briar Moss is the only third or three time winner for this season. So, shout out to you, Yo Van Blake. I uh, played Team Ascendancy. Yet another different deck. <laughs> so he's got so far he's got zombies, he's got blue white control, and he's got team of ascendancy. So hitting all the hitting all the popular decks. We've seen this deck many, many times, but a couple of little minor changes that he's made. Uh mana base, I think is like less island based, which is I think really good, more like forest based. So I like the innovations of changing up the mana base a bit. Uh let's see. I think the max jungle shock is, is like kind of the standard here. 12, 12 tap lands is uh, really interesting though. I don't know if you need this many like tap lands, but the mana is quite tight. I think uh, the Evolving Wilds inclusion here is very good. I think that's actually 14 tap lands now. So maybe you want like an Evolving Wilds sort of mana base where you kind of want a bunch of basics and then like very few duels. I think, although there's not a, very, uh, a ton of mana sinks, I guess other than like Crater's Claws, you don't want this many tap lands, I'm really sure, but. <laughs> You want to get going by like turn three, so I guess hitting all the colors is really important. Turn one biovax is probably the best play you can make. Uh, first lightning, Crater's Claws, uh, are the removal suite here, along with FTK. Loam Dryad was a, an interesting choice. I think he admitted that this was not a very good card. I think if you want something like this, I think you just play like, um, I think you just play uh, Finorn Elves if you want this sort of ramp spell, but. You're really not like doing anything on turn three. If you're going like forest, forest Finhorn elves, then you don't. What are you doing with like two green? Because there's no double green spell in your deck. So I'm not really sure what you want in this slot. I'm not really sure what he replaced for this. I think it was just like more of a late game thing, which I actually disagree with. I would say now that I think about it, because you're kind of just leaning really heavily on like the wanderers, the burst, and the uh, savage knuckle blade. So I kind of want more like. Either like a, a three drop that's really good here, or just something like in the middle. Because I think your mana is like good enough between like Rattle Call Mystic and Silver Ranger that you don't need like this extra sort of like ramp. Because there's honestly nothing good in this slot. <laughs> so um, maybe you can have extra two drop ramps. There's like Gem Hide Sliver that makes uh, teamer colors, or just other things like that. But I, I, I think like replacing the late game for something like this is. I don't know. <laughs> Not good. Because <laughs> you need like two things to happen. Because you need like this wrap clubs to hit. Like that. Even the, and the basic makes mana anyway. So like. Uh, th there is more exemplars though. So I guess you replace somehow like put more of the beef here. Like I said it triggers with team or sense if you don't know. It comes into play as a 4-4. And then there's a trigger that puts uh, three counters on it. So it will trigger the ascendancy if it's out. Uh, Knuckle Blade. No. It's, this, is this is your time Knuckle Blade. And it's it's. Actually, fisted its way through so many people right now. Uh, FTK, we've seen here. Wild and Wander, pretty awesome. You have white mana in this deck, so it can get up to a 6 6. Then Sapling Burst is kind of the most broken thing you do with Team Ascendancy, in my opinion. You make uh, three 4 4s, draw three cards. That's it's a great deal. And on its own, it's just a really amazing card. Uh, sideboard, uh, Arc Trail, just extra little removal. This is awesome, too, for one against like the green Rafaelos decks, things like that. Extra FTK. I actually like the move of not playing four FTKs now that I'm looking at this deck again. Probably like a uh, conscious decision. It's really, uh, it really sucks when you just have this in your hand and there's nothing to hit. It just like stays in your hand because you have to hit something with it. So I kind of like the move there. Extra Crater's Claws. That's for like the longer games when you kind of need the mana sink. Uh, Graveyard Hate and Totem and Furnace. Uh, extra life gain. Maybe I'd like to see these main deck. I would like to see this main deck maybe over the loam dry. It's a good like kind of like way to bounce back. You kind of like have a slow start, so instead of just killing your opponent, maybe you just want to like live a little longer here. Naturalist here, kind of a disenchant on, on body here. The Jewel Preserver, kind of for the smoke stat matchups, but it's kind of weird. I think like most, barring the green decks, most of them don't have like most of them are rather most of them probably have ways to kill this card, or they probably should. But it is kind of interesting to see this here. Also, awesome against Edict Effects, if that's like kind of a thing. And then extra Distant Chance here in Steel Harmonium. Uh, this is like the premium mid-range deck of the format, and it's uh, his third win, actually, of the season. So I think if you're looking to like attack and block and just play a mid-range game, this is deck for you. 
you want to see all the other decks from this tournament, there's a link below in the description. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.